Can't do it your way, thought Can't do it your way Everybody get their own opinion Alright, so welcome to my blog I wasn't planning on doing this, but for some reason I decided I'm, I'm just gonna do it, you know? So, um, in this video, I'm gonna feature a, a athlete that is um, a very high caliber athlete. But if I were your coach, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would change. Right now, the athlete I'm referring to, born in Jamaica in March 30th of 1991 in the parish of Manchester. One of our distant run and um, athletes have accomplished a lot. Went to um, uh, South Bend College, LSU, and Clemson. 800 meter, great time, 156, 15, 400 meter, F51, 52. So, um, with that type of um, Credential, the athlete is expecting to do great, great stuff. So the athlete I'm talking about is not Tyler Cole. Here's a little thing that I'm missing that's copying her from me. And if I were your coach, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I would fix and how I would fix it. So watching watching her run over the years, she always get catch. At about 200 meters. After two, after the last 150, she ain't got nothing, nothing, no wristband, nothing at all. She can't do nothing to help herself when it comes to the last 150. All right. She used to run from the front. She used to run from the front like David Rodisha normally do. It didn't work out for her. They changed that. I noticed they changed that because I see that she started to run from around second or third. She coming from the back. So the coach tell her that, okay, stop being a, a rabbit. Run from somewhere in the middle. So she started to run from it in the path. But you know what the problem is? Let me tell you what the problem is. If I were your coach, this is what I would do. I would, I would, I would set up a periodized training for you. And then I would do a three months in three months and then three more months lead up to championship so the first three months i would have you run indoor 1500 you, you within that three months time frame i would have you run around four 1500 i'll give you a time to finish these 1500 the second period after training would be 400. I would have you run some competitive 400. And when you're doing the 400, you're going to be doing 4 and 2. You're going to do the 4 and 2. The 2 is for your speed. And the 4 is also for your speed. Remember, we work on your strength work in the beginning. We're going to fix your speed. And then we're going to bring it to the um, your special event, which is the 800. So now we got the strength. And we got the speed. If you watch Natalia Gold compete, she haven't won a major championship in a long time. And because of that, she desperate. She desperate for that 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 that, that, that win. So when she when once she gets to the 200 meter mark, 180, 150, 120, she she just she just she can't wait for the line to come. She she just. She crying out for the line. And you can see the looks on her face. So what happened is that um, she need a win. So the next thing that I would do, I would put her in some race, some confident booster race. So all the 1500 that I'm gonna have her run, those 1500 gonna be run in with some athlete that she can be to build up her confidence. Cause she haven't win any major um, race for a while. She haven't won anything major for a while. You understand me? She runs good, but nothing major for a while. So now, after a confident boost, 
the second period after training, we're going to bump you up a little bit more now to some more competitive round. Your, your confidence is already up there. You think you can beat anybody. Now we're going to bring you up a little bit more. And then, that's when we're doing the speed work. We're going to bring you to run with some competitive sprinters. And after that, we drop you back to the main event. Okay, your main event is your 800. If you're running 50, there's no reason why you're not going to be able to run the 8. So you do that now. You're going to have the finish. You're going to have the kick. And once you get that, you will be able to beat anybody because you're running so good. If we look back at um, the World Championship 2019, she was leading all the way up. And then she just fades so bad. It was, I, I was hurt so bad because she just fades so bad. And that's lack of, that's lack of um, proper, proper coaching. Because if you, the, the coaching is right, you're going to get that right. Because you fade all the time. All the time, this is what, what happened to you. You lead for for 600 meters and fade for the last two. Okay, you, there's no kick. Um, if you look at the world champion winner in uh, 2019, she out kick everybody. And that's what, that's what who need. Who need a kick. Once you get the kick right, everything is gonna be fine. But she's not kicking. She don't have the kick. She don't have any speed in her foot to do that. So it's, don't focus on what she's good at. Focus on what she's not good at. And then we have the perfect athlete. And once again, if I was your coach, that's what I would do. I'm not saying you must change your program. But I'm just saying this is what I suggest if I were your coach. And once again, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Opinion. Everybody get their own opinion. Uh. Uh, okay, don't compare. Me, me, I'm a friend for it. They tell me what they say. Tell me who to pray. But see, you is Man is knowing everything.